centering it on the center of the image, not the left of the image. If you've done any type of graphical programming or game programming, you understand what I'm doing there. If not, I hope I explained it well enough. So we loaded the image into an object. <coughs> Excuse me. We uh, figured out where we want to place it. Now we need to place it and draw it onto the, onto the surface we're working on. So we're going to say screen dot blit the ship, so we're drawing the ship onto a surface. And now we, where are we going to place it? We are going to place it with the variables that we just created. Left, comma, ship, underscore, top. So we are drawing onto the screen the ship at these coordinates, which are found based on what we created up here. Uh, next, we are going to um, add something into our while loop here. And what we're going to add is pygame.display.flip is what I normally show you how to do, and that works fine. But I found that you can also do update. I don't know if technically there's a difference between doing flip and update. They both seem to do the same thing, but I'm going to start using update instead of flip just because it makes more sense in my head than flip because you're not really flipping the screen. I don't know if it's supposed to be like flipping in a flip book or something, but update seems to do the same thing. So we're going to use that instead in this case. So we should be good to go to at least see that on the screen. Let's save that, run it. Oh, we got a little crash here. Got to uh, use a desk. See, it's saying that this is not defined because I should have put a period there, not an underscore. So when you get error messages, Read what the error message says. It's usually telling you what's wrong. So we'll come over here. We'll delete that and put in a period. That will fix that error. Run that. There we go. We've got our display here. And centered at the bottom, we have our ship. Perfect. Close that. Let's continue editing this script. Let's uh, add something else here. Just before we uh, update the screen, Let's do this. We are going to screen.fill and inside double parentheses we're going to say 0, 0, 0. And this is RGB for red, green, and blue all set to 0 so it's not going to have any color which means we're going to be filling the screen with black which will erase everything on the screen. You won't actually see this in the game. Um, because we're going to draw over it before the screen updates. But 0, 0, 0 means no color, which is black. A lot of people get confused. Black is the absence of color. White is the presence of all color. A lot of people get that backwards. I don't know why. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, here we can say screen dot blitz. So we're going to draw again to the surface. And uh, really, what we did up here is kind of pointless because we we're going to fill the screen before you get that. But it's a learning tutorial, so even though some of the code up here, right here, is not necessary at this point, it's still useful in a learning experience, if that makes any sense. Anyway, uh, we're going to say uh, screen blitz, so draw to the screen the ship, and we're going to say, uh, well, we have to create some variables first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sorry. I hate when I do that. Let's get the position of our mouse cursor. We're going to create two variables here, x and y. And we're going to set them equal to pygame.mouse.get underscore pos for position. So it's going to set x and y equal to the x and y of our cursor. So as every time this loops around, it's going to check where our cursor is and set x and y equal to that. And right now, we're really concerned about the x. So what we started to type here is screen blit. We're going to draw to the screen the ship. Where are we going to draw it? We're going to find the location of the cursor, which is x, as far as left and right. And we're going to subtract the ship dot get width divided by 2. So we're centering it where the cursor is, left and right, on the center of the image. And we're going to position it, ship underscore top, which we set up here. So really, these two lines 
are good to know, but really aren't being used right now in this game. So you could remove them, but as far as the tutorial, I'm leaving them in there. Um, so let's see what we got so far. We've got X and Y, finding the cursor position, and then we're drawing it and updating it. Let's run our code, see what we got so far. So there is our ship. It's following my cursor as I move my mouse back and forth. Perfect. Now we just need to make our ship shoot. So up here, before we, before we reach our while loop, our main loop, we're going to create another object. We'll call it shot. That will be our bullet. We're going to, that object is going to be a pi game dot image. And once again, we're going to load an image from a file. And the image is inside our images folder and it's called shot.png. And next we're going to say shoot equals zero. And that's a variable that we're going to use here in a moment. And at this point we have our exit in our event checking here. But let's create another if then statement that is part of our main while loop, not that for loop. And we're going to say if shoot y, which we create up here is equal to zero, if it's greater than zero, then we're going to say screen dot split shot, which is our image that we create up here, our object, which is our image of our bullet. So we're going to draw that equal to shot underscore x comma I'm sorry shoot underscore x shoot underscore y so x will be left and right and uh, shoot y will be up and down which is equal to zero now which is the very top of the screen but we're not going to be this loop isn't running yet this if because right now it is equal to zero and when this will only run if it's greater than zero uh, so up here in our for loop we're going to say l if so now l if if this event type equals all capital mouse button down so if you click a mouse button regardless of its left or right what are we going to do we're going to say shoot y equals 500 and shoot x equals x which is the left and right of our cursor. Um, really to do this more appropriately we probably shouldn't do 500. We probably should find the location of our ship and stuff, but just keep moving with the tutorial. I'm going to do 500, uh, which is almost the bottom of the screen there. Uh, so at this point, when you click, now shoot Y is equal to 500. So this loop will run, and it will draw the shot onto the screen, but we don't want it to draw it. We're going to have to draw it equal to shoot X, which is our X, our cursor location when the mouse is clicked um, and Y uh, is 500 but we want it to not be drawn at 500 which is almost the bottom of the screen we want it to continue up to the top of the screen so we're going to say is each time this loops shoot Y minus equals 10 that means each loop it will move up 10 pixels so uh, at this point, we're pretty much done with our script. Let's run it and see what happens. If I didn't forget anything. So here is our ship as I move my mouse back and forth. It follows the cursor back and forth. And if I click, if I click, hmm, something's not right. Okay, I must have missed something. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Ah, I know what I did wrong. Um, this update screen really should go down after this because what's happening is we're drawing the shot onto the screen, 
but before the screen's updated, we're looping back around and clearing out the screen. So it's very important sometimes where you place stuff. So let's go pygame dot display dot update down here. And at this point, we can definitely remove it from up here. So remove that line, save it, now run it. Once again, I can move my cursor left and right. You can see the ship following. And when I click, it shoots a ball. And it doesn't matter whether I left click, right click, or even center click. You can even scroll your mouse and you can see it shooting. Now, the way we wrote this, you can only shoot one shot at a time because when you click again, it moves the shot back down to the ship. Once again, this isn't a full game tutorial. We're just giving you some examples of stuff. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope you play with it. The code is up at our uh, Films by Chris forum. There will be a link in the description to the forum. Check it out, and I hope that you have a great day.